Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Starting another vlog in the car as per usual. Um, I wanted to go ahead and do a vlog for this week because I don't know, I enjoy making them. You guys loved my Minneapolis vlog. You seem to like the travel vlogs, although we're not traveling today. But I'm just gonna kind of take you around with me. I have some errands to run. It's Tuesday. It is hot. It is a scorcher today. There's like a heat warning today and tomorrow um, in Iowa. And I have a photo shoot tomorrow morning. So that's going to be fun outside. <laughs> but yeah, that's why we're not doing any makeup today. Just sunscreen. <laughs> I'm running some errands. already been to TJ Maxx. Um, a couple TJ Maxx stores found some good stuff as per usual but I also wanted to hit up Trader Joe's this week I also kind of want to stop at home goods because I'm trying to redecorate our living room I have that kind of transformation video planned actually in the next week or so so I would like to check out home goods and see what they have for wall decor um, or any plants stuff like that a lot of people I've noticed it's very trendy to decorate with plants I don't know. I know the pompous grass stuff is super popular. I have saw some at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but it sheds so much. I was like, ugh, it's cheap, but that is going to get all over it, especially with cats. It's not going to be good. So I need to get a kind that's like non-shedding, but I noticed like pretty much everyone in their living room has like a vase with the pompous grass, and I, I like the vibe of it. So I have mostly all my furniture delivered. Like we just got our new TV stand in. Finally, that was on back order for like two or three months. I did want to mention I do have a sponsor for today's video, so let's get into that portion. Today's video is actually sponsored by Hunt a Killer. You're probably like, what in the world is that? It is actually a subscription box murder mystery game, and I was so curious in trying this out. I've heard a lot about it from Bailey Sarian. If you guys know her video, she does the murder mystery makeup Mondays. I love watching them, and it's like her true crime type of videos. So this game I thought would be so fun for me and my husband to try because we're always like running out of things to do, especially on the weekend nights. Like if we're just at home, it's like you don't want to watch like TV and movies like every single night. I'm always trying to figure out new things that we can do together. So I thought this game would be super fun for us to try out. So I'm really excited to work with them. This is like a subscription. So it's going to be $25 a month or per box. And with each kind of episode or crime, there's going to be six boxes boxes to actually solve the crime. So each box you're going to get all the different hints and clues and different pieces that you need to solve the crime. So you're not just going to be able to solve it off of one box. It's kind of a continuing thing and it's definitely not easy. Like this is a very challenging game so it definitely takes some time and it's even a fun thing that you can do with friends as well and they even have like an online community. You can kind of figure out different hints and things and different suspicions you have and talk about it online too so so right now I'm doing the cadence theater kind of mystery crime and you get a big envelope with everything you need in here so it's gonna have different things in each box that you need to solve the crime it's really cool too because you're able to kind of log on online and like literally it seems like you're like emailing with the detectives it feel, literally feels like you're a detective it's like super legit and the time and effort that goes into these games is just so cool so if you're wanting to try something different different. I think this is such a fun thing for a date night or a thing with friends just to kind of switch it up a bit, especially if you are into murder mystery type things or true crime. I think you would really like these. These are just fictional stories, but just the detail and everything and getting to know the characters trying to solve the murder it's just crazy how much detail goes into this and don't worry too because at first it was a little hard for me and I was like Ugh, I don't know what I'm doing but they have a thing you can log on to kind of get hints and clues onto what the next step is so you're gonna want to take notes and just like really get into the game try to see what's going on figure things out and try to solve the murder so it's pretty fun I do have a discount code with them it's 20% off with my code I'll have it here and down below if you guys think this is something that you be interested in trying out just to kind of switch it up a bit for a date night or whatever but yeah I'm really glad that I tried it out and I can't wait to keep doing my little mystery so let's get back into the vlog all right guys I am back home 
I did not end up filming much. I actually went to Trader Joe's and then pretty much came back home. I didn't stop at Home Goods or anything because I bought a bunch of frozen food and I didn't want it to melt in the car because I had an hour drive back home. So I figured I would just come home and maybe I can do another home shopping vlog later this week or next week. We will see, sorry, cash. <laughs> He always, when I'm up by the counter, he always wants to be up here. Anyways, I'm going to share with you my Trader Joe's haul in this kind of ambient lighting in front of our fish tank. They had these freezer bags, and I was like, that is perfect. So I bought one to put all my frozen stuff in, and I'm just going to keep this in my car because, again, I always have a long drive home, and I'm always trying out their frozen food. So it's like an insulated zip-top bag, and they just pack your groceries in there for you. And um, it's only like $6. Let's get to the goods inside. I tried to buy mostly new things and then a couple of restocks. I had to put cash up here because he was meowing like crazy. He just wants to be up here, so it's fine for now. <laughs> These are new, and I've been waiting for my store to get them. It's the Hold of the Dairy Mini Coconut Non-Dairy Frozen Dessert Cones in Chocolate. I love the Hold the Cones, so kind of like that, but a dairy-free option. We'll definitely have to try those. And then I am beyond beyond excited for this ice cream oh it just looks so amazing I just know it's gonna be good it's the peanuts and chocolate ice cream or peanuts for chocolate so I ended up buying one two three of these because I know when stuff is popular it's really hard to find and I think it's limited but I watch a lot of Katie Hespy's video and she raved about this it says it's basically like a peanut butter chocolate ice cream so very excited. This is a new one as well. We have the loaded potatoes. This says diced potatoes with ground beef, tomatoes, and cheeses. So we'll have to try that. I don't know if I'll be doing, I might taste test some things, but I'm not sure. Maybe tonight. Can you not get in my bag? <laughs> He is so, oh my gosh, he is at this age where he wants to play and be crazy 24-7. Anyways, I ended up buying two of these. I love potato dishes, and I feel like this one might go fast, so got two. A lot of the rest of these items in here are just new things I wanted to try. I did get the organic pesto tortellini. This is something I've never tried before. It's not necessarily a new product at Trader Joe's, but it says cheese tortellini with basil pesto. I just figured this would be a really easy meal. I also have, these are a repeat. We bought these and tried them out last week and my husband is obsessed. I love them too. The almond croissants. Oh my gosh, these are so good. I love anything with almonds. So these are going to be like a staple in our house. They're so flaky, so delicious. Also the mac and cheese bites. We tried these last week and they're kind of similar to the Cheesecake Factory ones. If you guys have ever had those, they're so good. And yeah, it's just basically a fried ball with macaroni and cheese inside. It's amazing. This is a new thing that looked kind of good. The reduced skill spinach and cheese stuffed shells with marinara sauce just kind of sounded like something that would be a nice quick and easy meal. It sounded kind of good. I got a lot of frozen stuff. This one's new out at Trader Joe's. Had to try it. The cheese empanadas with cassava crust. It says cheese, caramelized onions, and spinach. I'm so curious about these. I never have had like an empanada or whatever. I might try these tonight, but they look honestly pretty good. These are a repeat item, the buffalo style chicken poppers. My husband loves anything buffalo chicken, so I got those for him, but I think we've tried these before on the channel and they are pretty good. And then I got some pizzas. I've had this one before, the Taste O Champagne. I don't know how to say this, but it's like a mushroom style little flatbread. It's basically a little pizza, but these are really good. And then I got this barbecue chicken one, which also looked really good too. It says barbecue sauce, chicken, mozzarella, and gouda cheese. And then one more frozen item. This is a repeat item that we really like, the Brazilian style cheese bread. They're basically like Brazilian little biscuits. They're super good, um, kind of soft and doughy inside. So that was everything in the frozen bag, and then here's just the regular bag. I did grab these, which I'm kind of nervous about, but they sound kind of interesting, sweet and spicy pickled chips and onions so basically just pickles i'm hoping they're not like too too spicy but we'll see i also grabbed the gyoza dipping sauce i just had some of their gyozas the other day and i was thinking that i need a sauce with them so i thought this would be perfect 
I grabbed these crisps, fig and olive crisps. It says savory and sweet cracker to complement cheese spreads, dips, and toppings. So we'll try that. I do have some cheeses and some dips to try. I ended up buying two more of these everything and the Eloise uh, Greek style dip. I really like this dip. It is so good with the corn dippers. And I'm afraid they're gonna like run out of it, so I got two of them because last time I went they didn't have any. I did get more of the corn dippers for the dip. And then I wanted to try out this dip, so I'm hoping those crackers I bought would be okay with it. But I don't think this is super new. It's a sour cream spinach dip. It just sounded good. I'm hoping it's kind of like spinach artichoke dip or something. Hopefully it's good. Usually their dips are nice. And then I got a couple cheeses. This is a new one for me. I saw this on Trader Joe's list on Instagram. She was talking about it. The Beacon Fell Cheese. It says buttery traditional Lancashire cheese with a mellow flavor. It sounds good. I also picked up the Unexpected Cheddar. This one is my favorite cheese there. And I like to eat the cheese with like salami, so I got this one. This is a different one I haven't tried, but I feel like since it seems really salty, the one I tried last time, so I got the reduced sodium. That is the Trader Joe's haul. I'll probably try a couple of things tonight, but I do have to go to bed pretty early because I have the photo shoot in the morning and I need to self-tan and stuff, so I don't know. But I can show you guys um, a couple of packages I got in. I did want to share these new ColourPop lip pencils. I'll go over here. So um, t I think today is National Lipstick Day or sometime this week is, but they sent over some new lip liner sets. It's so orange in here now. We went from blue to orange because the sun is setting. I'm really excited about the Truth or Bear lip set. It comes with so many different lip pencils. And they also have the Bring the Heat, which I'm probably gonna put this one in a giveaway because I don't wear reds super often. And then I got this giant box that Cash is now standing on <laughs> I wanted to open from Laura Mercier. So let's see what's in here. All right, so in that box was two smaller boxes. I I know they just came out with a new powder, so that must be what it is. So this is the Perfect Cream Multitasking Moisturizer. That's new. I haven't seen that one before, but yeah, that's part of their skincare line. As well as the Illuminating Eye Cream. I think I have tried that one. They also included this amazing smelling candle. That smells incredible, and it's super nice and bougie looking. And here's the new powder, I think. It says Translucent Loose Setting Powder Light Catcher. Hmm. On this card, there's three shades, Celestial Light, Honey Star, and then Cosmic Rose. And it says that it's supposed to give 12 hours of luminous wear. It's a pearl blend that smooths your skin with light and perfects skin with no photo flashback. I know they already have a glow powder, so I'm wondering how this is going to be different. That's kind of how it looks, the Celestial Light. I went ahead and swatched that one. That is the lightest shade on my hand. And this is definitely giving me highlighter vibes. So I don't know if I would personally use this as a powder, especially for oily skin. I might try it maybe for like a filming day, but this looks like a highlight to me, but it does look beautiful. They did send all of the shades, but I'll just swatch that one because I'm sure the other ones probably won't work for me. Hello guys, it is now Friday. I thought I would go ahead and vlog today as well, probably just these two days because I kind of filmed a lot the other day when I was filming, but yes, it is Friday. I had a photo shoot this morning, so that's why we are in full glam lashes and all, and so since I already had full glam makeup, I went ahead and filmed a couple more videos for YouTube, so it's been a very productive morning and it's only like 1 o'clock, so we're doing really good. Um, I thought I would pick up the camera though because I'm pretty much done filming. I have a humongous mess. I won't even show you because I'm pretty embarrassed. <laughs> it's pretty bad, but once you like film videos, your stuff just gets everywhere. I thought I would go ahead and take a little break and get some lunch. I'm going to go to a local cafe, grab a coffee and a bagel for lunch. I'm thinking it sounds really good so I can eat that and start editing for the day. I always get questions about what I shall have on and today I'm actually wearing the Juvia's Place. Actually, what's it called? I think it's the Chocolate Browns. I think it's the Chocolate Browns. It's one of their brown mini palettes from them. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I feel like it created a good look, but I just, I struggle with Juvia's Place eyeshadows. They take me a lot of effort to work with for some reason, but so many people rave about them. I don't know. I'm just, I'm not like a huge fan, but this look is really cute that we did. 
Anyways, I'm about to head out, but I wanted to share with you before I blow my candle out. Um, I've been burning my Homeworks candle that I got at TJ Maxx, the Spice Vanilla Pumpkin. Such a gorgeous scent. I hope I can find more of these because they are really nice. They're huge, 18 ounces. They have four wicks, and they are pretty fragrant, honestly. So hopefully we can find more of those at the stores. Oh, and did you guys see all the new scents on Bath & Body Works website this morning? Oh my goodness. I cannot believe it. There's a bunch of online exclusives. I was wondering if these scents were going to come out like the Wicked Vanilla Woods. I was like, is it coming or not? It's online now. And then the, the Blueberry Maple something, I don't know if it's Blueberry Maple Pancake, something like that is online too. Um, some people found it at like test stores that test body care and see like how it sells and stuff. But we, I, we probably won't see that one in store. So that one's online only. And also the Pumpkin Cupcake as well. Is online so I made a big order I'm kind of mad because I wish I did overnight shipping for it so I could review it ASAP but I just did the regular shipping which is fine I probably didn't need to spend a whole lot anyway excess on that um, but I did use a lot of my rewards so I didn't have to buy a ton but I just cannot believe how many fragrances Bath & Body Works has been coming out with it's been so much I like can't keep up my organizers are gonna like overflow um, but I'm trying to keep it at a good amount like I don't want to go overboard I'm trying to keep stuff that I'm keeping and decluttering and only keeping scents that I love but I still wanted to pick up the new stuff to review so that's kind of the updates for today and that I've just talked in this one spot for so long let's go ahead and get some lunch I got my lunch here's what I got so if you guys are in the Iowa area I know they have smoky rails in a lot of different cities in Iowa but it has really good coffee and I love their bagels so this is the row of bagel looks so good and then for my coffee my second coffee of the day this is called a sweet georgia brown it has honey and brown sugar and they also give you chips as well so that is what we're having for lunch today hello guys good morning it is now saturday haven't vlogged in a minute but i thought i would go ahead and pick up the camera today since it is the weekend um i'm mostly spending the weekend in at home though not really super exciting but um it's about noon right now i just got out of the shower i've been picking up my room a bit trying to organize some things and i'm waiting on a package so i could go ahead and film my video for today because i want to do a fun q a and i have a new palette coming no makeup on yet but i will be doing my makeup today i got just a graphic tee on with some biker shorts for my outfit this t-shirt is from the pulse boutique of course <laughs> and if you guys don't know that is my other job i work at once a week or so um and i model clothes for them and oftentimes i buy a lot of the clothes too but i always have a discount code with them too which i think is just leah janae 10 or leah janae i'll have it down below if you guys want to check out the site but pretty much most of my clothes come from there. While I'm waiting for this package, I think I'm just going to pick up a little bit around the house. I kind of started in my room. I still have some clutter, but my kitchen needs to be cleaned as well. So I think that is what is on the agenda for today. I did put makeup on. I got my little Q&A film. So this look will be in that video. Got some like pink eyeshadow on. Um, we're about to make dinner. So we're actually going to make these Made Right mini sliders. Which I feel like I heard that Made Rights were like a Midwest thing. So not everyone really knows what they are. But it's basically like a loose meat, loose hamburger mini sandwich. And kind of like a sloppy joe but not like the sloppy part. <laughs> So we went to the store real quick to get the ingredients for that. Tyler's watching some aquarium auction thing that they do every Saturday, I think. I don't know. They do these wholesale auctions for coral, and Tyler's really into that right now. So we might watch that a little bit because they do this to like midnight, which is kind of crazy. All right, so this is the auction. It's on our phone, so it's on Facebook. 
probably loud, but you just bit on these corals, I guess. This is our first time watching. Tyler is expecting to get a bunch of corals, but I don't know if we're gonna get that many. No, <laughs> no. we literally just got into corals like a week ago. And I guess they do this all night long. All right, so for this, you need the King's Hawaiian Rolls. We got like a double batch. We'll probably just start with one. And then I got some brown sugar, some American cheese, of course, ground beef. You need these beef bouillon little cube things. Soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, and then apple cider vinegar. So then you put all the liquids in here, about a tablespoon. We did a double batch um, of each thing, and then just kind of wait till this all evaporates a little bit, and then we're gonna spread this on the buns and put in the oven. I totally did not end the vlog yesterday, so we're gonna end it here. Last night, literally after making dinner, we literally watched like all of season one of Outer Banks, so that's what we did. Tyler had seen it before, I haven't. I've always been trying to get into it. I would watch like a couple episodes, I'm like, I don't know, but last night, I like made sure I paid attention fully, and I really like it now, because I know they just launched season two, so maybe we might do some of that tonight as well because when i start a show i like have to finish it it's the weirdest thing i'm very much a binge watcher <laughs> but i wanted to go ahead and end the vlog thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys <laughs>